So guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be chatting about the 96 rated Team of the Season Sierra Immobile card. Now, this card looks great and this season Immobile has been fantastic for Lazio. He has scored 41 goals in 48 games across 4 competitions in Italy. That is is a fantastic record. He is certainly a goal scorer. Anyway, before we get into the details of this very good looking card, if you could leave a like on this video, that would be fantastic. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on this card and also let me know which Team of the Season cards you want to see me do a video on. So, now that's done and out the way, let's have a look at the in-game attributes for this card. We begin in the pace column, where we can see this guy has brilliant sprint speed of 96. Moving over to the shooting section, there is three 99 rated stats in a row. Immobile has the maximum rating for positioning, finishing and shot power, so... You know, as you can imagine, this guy is capable of scoring goals. His passing stats look pretty average from a technical point of view. Average crossing, poor long passing, but decent short passing. In the dribbling department, we can see this guy has good ball control and a pretty good in-game dribbling stat too. Finally, physically, 6 foot one Immobile has 91 jumping, 88 strength and 99 head and accuracy. So, let's move into the in-game clips and let's chat about how this guy was in actual matches and we'll begin by chatting about his pace because he feels super quick when he gets going but his acceleration isn't that high and with his acceleration being much lower than his sprint speed he doesn't feel fast initially it takes him a yard or two to actually feel pretty quick his dribbling is um it's interesting he runs really well when going in a straight line but he does feel heavy when turning with the ball his ball control in general though did feel pretty decent but i do feel like his agility let him down considering his rating when it comes to shooting two words two words and it's not two words it's finesse shots he is fantastic at them his power shots aren't too bad either but for me they were just battering the woodwork on a regular basis but um, his right foot finesse is lethal. It is absolutely clinical both inside and outside the box. He's a composed finisher and he will score you goals. He's not just a threat with his feet though. He is an aerial threat too. He's six foot one, leaps very high and he's a great player to aim for when taking corners and goal kicks. Positionally, Immobile was fantastic. He was always pushing forward for me and making great natural runs in behind and he was regularly involved in attacking moves which was pleasing. You can see in the clips, he's involved um, in attacking moves from the start right to the very end. Physically, the guy is certainly a presence and he does win most one-on-one -on -one battles but with him not having the best balance against some of the stronger, more elite centre-backs in FIFA 18, you might find that he can end up on the floor. As a whole, Team of Season Mobley is a pretty damn good striker. He's a great aerial threat who has a brilliant finesse shot in his arsenal. But the question is, is he worth coins? Is he worth picking up? At the current time, I have to say no. Now... He just isn't worth that current price tag at all at the moment, in my opinion. Now, don't get me wrong, his 96 rated card is pretty good. Well, he's very good. But, in all honesty, this card didn't feel much better than his 88 rated Man of the Match version. So, although this 96 tops card is a very good striker, due to the cost difference between this 96 and the 88 Immobile, I have to say this Team of the Season version at the current time is not worth his price tag. Still a good striker, but not worth his cost, so I would wait for him to drop in price. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on Team of the Season, Zero Immobile. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please remember to leave a like on this video, comment below if you tried, and let me know how it was for you. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.